Hi, I'm Brian Lesperance. I'm joined by our winemaker, Matthew Jeanette, to discuss a topic that was brought up on our Facebook page this week, which is uh, what does decanting or aerating um, wine do? Why do we have these devices? So Matt, as the winemaker, why do we have them? Uh, well, yeah, so pretty much to, you know, kind of the whole concept behind this is aeration of the wine, and which really, you know, is meant to release the aromatics of the wine, especially in young reds um, that are what we call tight, you know, the aromatics aren't really there. Um, you're not really smelling that nice fresh fruit, those dark cherry, black raspberry notes. Um, and we're looking to uh, kind of throw a couple different ways to do that. And I guess the main question is really based on these uh, aeration devices. Um, we have one called the Venturi right here. Uh, I think it's the most common out there, probably the one of the better devices out there as well. Um, but basically what it is, it's a design based off of an actual um, thing called the venturi, which is basically a large opening going through a, a small opening with some holes kind of cut through it, um, which allows air uh, to be sucked into there, which allows that oxygen that's present in our air to kind of um, to touch the wine and to help release those aromatics. Um, you know, our, I guess, review of this product is, you know, yes, it does do that job. Um, it does do what it says it's going to do, um, but really it's based on proper usage of the thing, there are these two holes kind of in the device that if your fingers are on them, you're not going to do anything to the wine, so you want to make sure that those are clear. Um, but kind of on a sort of winemaking aspect of that, you know, it's um, it's probably good for a young, younger red wine, uh, something with um, that's kind of recently bottled, a younger vintage to them, something in your reserve, you probably want to do something more of the decanting, which is where you uh, pour the bottled wine into a large um, sort of glass base in a way. Um, and really allow the wine to slowly aerate that wine because you don't want to do it too harsh because you can actually lose a lot of those aromatics as well. How does the this differ from when we age red wine in a barrel for maturation or okay. reasons? Yep, so uh, kind of similar idea to kind of from the decanting versus the venturi. Um, basically in a, in a barrel, you know, we're using oak, oak staves primarily um, to, to hold the wine for one, but also because they're made out of wood, they're very slightly porous, and that little, those really small microscopic uh, pathways from you know, the nat natural air into the wine allows the oxygen to get in there, but very slow and it's sort of a very controlled mount. Even when it comes to barrels, we can select certain tightness of, of oak, which allows us to kind of help mediate the amount of oxygen that we can get into the, into the wine. So it kind of does the same sort of aspect, um, one at a very slow pace, being the barrel, and then the Venturi does it a real quick um, sort of fast method of oxidation and aeration. Could you just pour the wine in a glass and come back in a half hour? Would it do a similar thing? Yeah, um, pretty much what we think as well. You get the same aspect by just uh, pouring into the glass, letting it sit for, you know, even five, ten minutes. You're, it's going to open up, you know, swirling the glass, same sort of thing, kind of what the Venturi does. Or what I do myself is to actually just kind of pour the wine, just kind of pour a little hard, See little bubbles up there in the, in the wine and kind of allow it to uh, kind of, you know, just kind of get some air that way. So Cool. Thanks, Matt. So in summary, Venturis are awesome. They do work, but time um, will also work well. So um, kind of pick your device, have fun with it. This is wine. It's supposed to be fun. And keep the questions coming. We love to answer them.